What you just heard was the sound of my key set, first in the audible range and then in a portion of the ultrasonic range. The sound was captured with an IMP23 ABSU MEMS microphone, for which I designed a little breakout board, amplified through a homebrew amplifier, and ultimately fed into the input of the SDR Play RSP DX SDR receiver. Before I go over the entire design, credit where credit is due. I first got this idea when I saw a video on the TechMind's official channel where he was using a MEMS microphone and the STR Play STR receiver to listen to bats. Unfortunately, I don't have any bats in my office, therefore I had to look for other ultrasonic sound sources. The breakout board for the IMP23 ABSU MEMS microphone is kept rather simple. It only contains the microphone itself and some coupling and decoupling capacitors according to the datasheet recommendations. Because of the extremely small LGA5 footprint of the microphone, I didn't even want to bother of trying to etch this at home. So I uploaded the design files to PCBWay and a few days later the picture perfect boards arrived in the mail. The pre-amplifier design is centered around a TLV 6002 dual op amp. The amplifier stage serves multiple purposes. Besides the obvious, which is to provide some gain and to boost the signal coming from the MEMS microphone, the design is also supposed to provide some sort of bandpass characteristics with the lower cutoff frequency around the minimum 1 kHz that the RSPDX is able to receive and an upper cutoff frequency around the 80 kHz that the MEMS microphone is rated for. I measured the frequency response of the amplifier by using the Bode plot function of my Sigland SDS2104X HD and an external generator and as you can see here it didn't work out too well. But the result isn't too horrible either. With over 20 decibels of gain in the entire frequency range, I decided to connect the output to my RSPDX SDR receiver and go looking around for some ultrasound noise sources in my lab. And just by accident, I found out that the most reliable ultrasound source has been in my pocket the entire time. This is what a set of keys sounds like in the SDR Uno software through the setup shown before. Pouring water from one beaker to another also is quite audible in the ultrasonic range. That's it for this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.